Hey everyone, Elite here with a new video and today I want to share with you these new uh, watercolors that I got from this shop on Etsy and I will link it in the description box. Uh, this is um, not a sponsored video, I've just seen these paints kind of circulating around Instagram and I want to try them out. So this is the happy birthday set and I did ask um, the owner of the store if I could get the set without the vanilla frosting uh, paint which is kind of like a vanilla one and of course she agreed to it without a problem. Uh, I just thought I had kind of similar paints in my stash to that even though uh, I'm not sure that I have exactly uh, that color and it seems quite beautiful and yes I'm a little bit um, regretting that I <laughs> didn't get it also <laughs> but uh, I managed so that's just to say that I asked for only three paints to be included and you can choose if you want it uh, in this cute little, little tin don't do what I did I sprayed it with water and the ink um, as you can see there on the sample is not waterproof so um, wet your paints carefully so this is just me exploring the paints I haven't tried them I just received them and I thought I would share with you um, how they look and behave and perform and just my playtime so I'm starting with my uh, Tomoe River A5 insert um, like a traveler journal type of insert and uh, just playing on that paper and I'm actually using a smaller brush than the one I usually use, usually use. I think this one is number 8 and I tend to go with a 12 or 14. Um, I don't know I guess because the insert is a little bit smaller than my usual um, uh, art journal size. I usually work with an A4 or 9 by 12 uh, art journal so I think I, I decided to go with a, a smaller brush anyway the paints so these three paints um, they are handmade as I said and um, so it's nice I like to support you know these uh, small businesses and small stores and watercolors are gorgeous and I would just uh, I was curious to see I've never gotten handmade watercolors before uh, all my watercolors are from big brands so uh, I was really curious and these particular three colors uh, that come in the set uh, I only have three out of the four that usually come in the set well they are gorgeous this there's um, this violet color that I think violet is a good um, description of it um, it is quite opaque and it's very granulating and gorgeous <laughs> Um, the bronze color is fantastic. Um, I think I have I have a couple of metallic watercolors and what I usually find even with you know something like Schmincke which is like top of the line when it comes to watercolors um, you kind of have to work at it with those metallic paints but this one is really luscious and very easy to activate. Um, it's just gorgeous what can I say. Uh, the teal is also beautiful but I feel like with the teal I feel I have kind of similar paints in my palette whereas the other two I feel are quite unique to um, yeah I think they're quite unique colors so definitely um, uh, a plus uh, for me in this set uh, one thing that I will say I think the set is fantastic if you you know either if you have like a really good basic set of watercolors or if you really really love these colors because they are already you know they're not primary colors um, so mostly if you mix them with other colors you're going to get uh, more muted shades um, which of course can be beautiful but my point is that I don't think the set is like super versatile um, the colors are gorgeous but um, yeah it's it's a very kind of limited palette beautiful palette so just um, an FYI just I, I guess I mean to say that you know if you're on a tight budget and 
um, you want to get the most out of every dollar that you spend, then these are not the colors I would go for. I would go for uh, more primary colors that you can mix um, and get a larger variety of um, colors. That's what I mean to say, not that these are, you know, not great in any way because I did really enjoy them. So after just covering that um, spread on my uh, A5 insert, I decided to just keep playing with them and I felt like sketching these faces. So I opened one of my Stillman and Burn uh, journals. This one is from the beta series, uh, which means the paper is extra heavy, uh, cold press white paper and it's um, kind of a smaller landscape size very nice I, I think I've only used it for kind of landscape um, sketches but uh, I don't know I felt like working in that size uh, it's less intimidating than the larger one and you can fit four cute little uh, drawings in it so this was me just having fun and I was somewhat um, inspired by uh, Mindy Lacefield's uh, style and one of the exercises in her I think it's watercolor play journal something uh, one of her watercolor classes I think in one of the first lessons she does these little uh, sketches and so I definitely had that in mind when I was making these and yeah I was just having fun not worrying about realism or too much about I don't know shading just having fun with the paints and you see I I changed the colors and yeah just play and I think the combination of the loose watercolors and those sketchy uh, pencil lines are I just I really love that combo um, I'm really trying to be more mindful and pay attention to what I like and what I don't like so that I'll know what I want to repeat <laughs> And, um, you know, eventually kind of develop my own uh, signature style. And while I love um, some of, you know, very detailed or more realistic faces, I really feel that um, I am personally more drawn to the, the faces that are more on the sketchy side. So... Um, not super detailed, but just a lot of uh, play with color and uh, sketchy lines. I find that I really respond to that, and um, that's what I enjoy making. So kind of, I would call these um, girls here maybe a, a bit of a um, combination of like maybe a little bit Mindy Lacefield, maybe a little bit Donna, uh, not Donna, Dina Wakely, um, I guess those two kind of pop uh, to my mind when I look at these uh, cute sketchy girls. So this was just just a lot of fun, you know. It's it's very easy to kind of have this playtime in uh, a small journal, and it's it's really a great way I think to explore new supplies. And I really enjoyed these uh, watercolors. I kind of felt like um, I wanted to go and grab another set. So a as you can see, they come in this cute little tin. You don't have to get the tin. Uh, but I think it's the same price with the tin or without. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken. But the tin is super cute. And then every little um, pan, half pan of watercolor has uh, a magnet stuck to the bottom. So it stays uh, nice and stuck to that cute uh, metal tin and of course uh, I only got three colors so I can add another one if I want to and um, I think what I've from what I've seen the owner is happy to create custom orders I don't know if I mentioned that already so you know if you go to the store and maybe you don't necessarily um, you know like the sets that are already there and you want to kind of create your own combination I think she's um, very uh, open to that so um, just you know reach out and ask and just you know maybe that will give you exactly what you want um, if the sets that are already there are not um, 
you know exactly your cup of tea so yeah I was just playing around you know trying to get all the colors to be uh, in the hair and the faces and just you know not paying attention to um, any as I said realism so I hope you enjoyed this I wish you a lovely day and thanks for watching